Hello, this is Flight Instructor Nick. Welcome to part three of Garmin 1000 Made Simple. Make sure you visit v1pilot.com and email subscribe to receive ongoing flight training and aviation educational topics. Also, please subscribe below to our V1 Pilot YouTube channel. And now for part three of our training on the Garmin 1000 GPS. Today we'll be covering the knobs on the right here up until the soft keys. The first knob here on the primary flight, flight display, Garmin 1000, controls the volume of COM1. You'll notice if we turn the small knob to the left, it'll decrease the volume in percentage wise. And if we turn the little knob to the clockwise right, it'll increase the percentage of volume of COM1. Currently, the active frequency COM1 is 19.8, the inside frequency uh, right here. To toggle between the active and standby frequency you'd press this toggle switch and you notice it changes from 119.8 to 118.8 now say if we want to change the actual standby frequencies 19.8 we could come down to this com knob the outer knob changes the larger numbers so if we turn the larger knob counterclockwise, it'll decrease. And if we turn it clockwise to the left, the large knob, it'll increase the digits. To decrease the standby frequency smaller digits 0.8 you turn the small com knob counterclockwise and would decrease the frequency digits if you want to increase it you turn the small knob clockwise to the right and it'll go ahead and increase it to your desired frequency and then you could toggle it back and forth and put it into the active which is it takes it from the right to the left okay the next knobs we'll be talking about is the course knob and the barometric to set the uh, barometric is the outer knob here you'd uh, decrease it you turn the outer knob to the left so right now our current barometric pressure is 30.00 inches if we want to decrease it, we turn the outer knob left counterclockwise and we'll actually change it to 2999 to standard barometric, barometric pressure. And you see it brought us to our desired 3000 uh, compensating for the barometric pressure. And that's standard 299.92. And say if we want to increase it, we turn that larger knob uh, to the left clockwise increasing it to 30.00 if the current barometric pressure in the area was reporting 30.00 now to change the course and right now we have deer park vor 17.70 uh, deer park and we have the vor course uh, showing up 073 you would turn the smaller knob so if you want to increase the course we'd go ahead and increase turn the smaller knob uh, to the left clockwise and it would increase it if we want to decrease the vr course 
we turn it left counterclockwise and say if we want to hone directly uh, the course to Deer Park VOR uh, what you do is you press that course knob in the middle and it'll give us a direct to course to Deer Park VOR of 065. Okay now that we covered the course and barometric I think we'll call it uh, a N for lesson three right now but what we'll be doing is covering in the next part four the range map functions along with the soft keys here of uh, the soft keys of direct the menu flight plan procedure clear button enter button and then maneuvering within the flight plan itself and selecting different options so in lesson four come on back so that way you learn about the range uh, button, soft keys for your flight planning, and the map range. Thanks for visiting V1 Pilot, and today's lesson, we'll see you next lesson, part four.